Hi, this is Michael DeSalle from Coconut Country Living, and today we're going to use some of that turmeric whitening toothpaste that I've been talking about. Um, there might be some myths out there about exactly what, what turmeric will do to your clothes or even kitchen surfaces or the surfaces in your bathroom, as well as what it might do to your teeth or other objects. I wanted to straighten that out today and give you a realistic idea of what might happen. So first what I'm going to do is get our turmeric whitening toothpaste prepared for us. So what I'll do is um, first get one of these placards. Um, this is just a regular dental flosser that you can use to get out your turmeric toothpaste. I just use the end of it. And you want to get a nice amount, um, kind of like the amount that they used in the commercial for fluoride toothpastes, which are actually pretty dangerous. And uh, you're going to kind of heap that on top of your toothpaste. I use a two to one ratio of turmeric to coconut oil when I make my toothpaste and it works pretty well. So you're just going to get that on your toothpaste, you know, shut your jar. Here I used our beauty size coconut oil uh, jar to store this. It's a great way to put something out of the way and have it dedicated to whitening your teeth. You might want to do it, you know, once a month. Maybe if you use a lot of coffee or green tea, maybe once a week. Otherwise, use some nice Ayurvedic toothpaste, like you can get this on Vitacost. At least one type of Ayurvedic toothpaste has A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-I-C, Ayurvedic. Um, there's just natural ingredients in Ayurvedic toothpaste, so it's even better than something like the Jason toothpaste out there. Um, so you're just going to, you know, uh, put it in your mouth, brush like normally for three to five minutes. Brush your tongue. And I tell you what, if you do use the vanilla extract like I did, your toothpaste really tastes great. You might want to eat it. Uh, but there's also the cinnamon oil you can use and even the peppermint oil, just make sure it's something that's for internal use. Use about 12 drops for every two tablespoons of coconut oil that you use. And uh, you can do that to taste. But notice you will have some yellow residue in your sink once you've done this. So you can deal with that with just a simple sponge and some uh, baking soda or here I use some bone of me. This is very safe. It's a natural powder cleanser from um, I got this from the Thrive Market. So you just uh, wipe this down. Um, no need to let it just sit there. And you can see the yellow does go away pretty quickly. Um, on your clothes, uh, it's a different story. So, you know, try to use a, even like a yellow toothbrush. You can see this, the toothbrush itself will get stained. Uh, you might want to have a dedicated toothbrush for your turmeric toothpaste. Um, your clothes, like a white shirt, will get fairly stained if you're not careful. So wear something yellow, like a yellow shirt, maybe even a ye yellow pants, uh, will be a good idea. And then uh, try to get a pure form of coconut oil, something unprocessed with nothing bleached or artificial in it. Uh, so virgin organic coconut oil is a good idea. And then finally, the turmeric. Um, a lot of people don't understand that turmeric powder uh, can also have EDC in it, which is carcinogenic. That's used to take out cur curcumin. So use an organic form of that too. And even know where it's grown. Some uh, turmeric can even have salmonella, even if it's organic. So make sure your producer of turmeric is also respirable. So this is Micah DeSalle from Coconut Country Living. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave a comment below. And uh, we will be coming out with a new Turmeric Hacks cookbook soon. And please tell us if you enjoy our products. Um, there's a lot of interesting combinations you can use out there for both recipes and household uses. My name again is Microsoft from Coconut Country Living, and we'll catch you later. Bye.